Bryant and Jerry Britton ensured the first Premier Division meeting of these clubs finished all square. Britain struck first, heading home a Derek Fleming free kick in 38 minutes, and in the stroke of half-time, Wright equalised with a shot which hit Ian Westwater and trickled over the line. Wright put Killy ahead from the penalty spot in 55 minutes after Jim McIntyre had been fouled. Craig Robertson cleared on the line from McIntyre and Westwater's legs denied John Henry. But two minutes from time, Britain hooked a bouncing ball into the net. Dunfermline are still seeking their first league win of the season, though. At Rugby Park, it finished Kilmarnock 2, Dunfermline 2. Kilmarnock had new signing Kevin McGowan making his debut at central defence and they hope he'll close the leaks at the back. They've conceded eight goals in the first three games and they've scored five. Gus McPherson's cross almost allowed John Henry to improve on that ratio. But this game's opening goal was classic Dunfermline. Derek Fleming provided the cross for Jerry Britton and he heads it well. Two goals in a week now for Jerry. And Dunfermline were spurred on by the goal and even centre-back Andy Todd wants in in the scoring action. As you can see, he's a hard man to stop. But the home side were playing the better football and eventually it paid off. Watch for Paul Wright in space in the middle. Not a hard shot, but Westwater couldn't keep it out. 1-1, a minute into stoppage time in the first half. Alex Totten's men were almost in the lead a few minutes after the break. Gus McPherson launching the cross in for Jim McIntyre and the goal line clearance was by Craig Robertson. Westwater knew all about that one. He was all right in the end though. And then Killy were awarded a penalty kick just after that. Right pass to McIntyre inside the box and down he goes. Referee Allison spotting him his French hauling the jersey. Yep, that was the right decision. Paul Wright normally dispatches him, and no exception here. 2-1, Kilmarnock. So, from a Killy point of view, having been a goal down, they were now a goal up. But Bert Payton's side gritted their teeth and fought back. Jerry Britton coming close that time. The Eston D-man is settling in well with the Fifers. Killy's last goal scoring opportunity fell to John Henry. Westwater got a foot to it. The Fermland supporters who'd made the trip were wondering if their side could level it, and they did. Britain managed to get a foot to the ball there. 2 2. A great finish from him, and nothing more than they deserved. After a disappointing start against Rangers, when obviously we got a bit of a doing, I think we've perked up uh, against Hibs and then today against Kilmarnock. Uh, but we just have to start uh, getting the, th the three points. We've had two draws, but really we've got to start winning these games. And three minutes to go. What a great goal that was! Uh, I, was I was quite pleased with it, I must admit. Usually uh, my goals are in off my nose and things like that, like, like the first goal. So um, yeah, I was quite pleased with it. Firm continue to lead the way in the Premier Division. Rangers have now won their last 13 competitive games, while Celtic haven't lost in the league since last September, a run of 35 matches. Aberdeen are third ahead of Hearts, who have a game in hand. Motherwell, Hibernian and Kilmarnock mid-table, while Dunfermline, Dundee United and Wraith have yet to record their first win.